from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Recycling is about to get easier in Henrico, and a longtime child care center in Lakeside is calling it quits. We'll tell you about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. It's brought to you today by the law firm of Barnes & Deal. And now for the news. Well, Henrico County and the Central Virginia Waste Management Authority are going to make it easier for you to recycle every two weeks. They are teaming up with a national nonprofit to provide free 95-gallon recycling carts on wheels to each of the 90,000 county households that participate in the CVWMA's curbside recycling program. One 95-gallon cart will be provided to each household during a six-week period beginning in May. The carts are identical to traditional trash carts used by many commercial services. They will replace the 24-gallon and wheelless handheld bins currently in use through the CVWMA program. The cost of the carts is being funded by a grant from the Recycling Partnership and Henrico County. Details of the cost and program will be announced at a press conference this morning. Now, by July 1st, the new carts will be the only acceptable container permitted for recycling collection at single-family homes in the county. Nothing placed beside the carts, including cardboard, will be collected. The shift not only will allow households to fit nearly four times as many recyclables in the new carts as compared with the existing bins, but it also will help streamline collection. Drivers will be able to empty the carts using an automated arm, just as many trash collection companies do currently. The Recycling Partnership is an organization originally created in 2011 by the Aluminum Foundation in an effort to encourage curbside recycling. It's based in Arlington, Virginia. You can read much more about this story right now at HenricoCitizen.com. A popular longtime child development center in Lakeside is closing permanently next month after nearly half a century serving the community. The Hatcher Child Development Center at Hatcher Memorial Baptist Church on Dumbarton Road opened in 1976, but it will close by March 28th, according to CDC Committee Chair Sharon Vecchioni who wrote in a February 17th letter to parents that the center has struggled with a variety of issues, including a difficulty attracting qualified employees, the financial challenges of rising fuel, food, and wage costs, and a number of delinquent accounts, all of this on top of trying to recoup significant amounts of revenue that it missed out on because of COVID-19 closures. In an interview with The Citizen on Monday, Vecchioni lamented the center's demise as being reflective of the type of financial and staffing challenges being felt throughout the child care industry. She conceded that the center perhaps has been not quite as strict as it could have been in collecting delinquent payments from families, but said that the committee ultimately decided that the daycare is not a business but more of a ministry, and as a result, officials were apt to work with families who were delinquent to collect at least a portion of the past due amounts while allowing their children to continue to attend. Just before the pandemic began, the CDC cared for 178 children. Now that number is down in the 70s. Vecchioni attributed some of the decline in part to the fact that more working families with parents who are now working at least part-time from home have opted to provide in-home child care themselves or through another caregiver. You can read much more about this story right now at HenricoCitizen.com. Virginia Career Works of the Capital Region will hold a virtual resource fair this Thursday from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. and again from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. You can learn about local organizations that can help with career development services, food and housing assistance, transportation, education, financial literacy, and more. To join, visit vcwcapvirhiringevent.easyvirtualfair.com backslash landing. For details, you can also call 804-652-3220. On Saturday, award-winning storyteller Valerie Davis will present a program entitled The Calm Before the Storm, The Slave Rebellion of 1800. It'll take place at 2 p.m. at St. John's Church in Richmond. 
Davis will play the part of Nan Prosser, the wife of Gabriel, who was an enslaved man who lived at Brookfield, a tobacco plantation in Henrico. He plotted an 1800 slave uprising at nearby Young Spring on Up and Brook. The plan would have involved multiple Virginia localities, but ultimately was thwarted by a torrential thunderstorm that blocked roads and creeks, and also by a leak of plot details to one slave owner. To learn more about Saturday's event or to purchase tickets, you can visit historic stjohnschurch.org. That's S T J O N S Church. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit barnesfamilylaw.com, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, or call 796-1000.